All right, so I'll show the uh, Kate Sith slots real quick. Um, the way this works is if you hit square, which usually hides your um, your menu so that you can see like the whole screen um, during any slots in the game. Um, you will pause the slots so you can get the exact thing that you want and with Kate Sitz slots it's a little different because he has a certain thing going on with his slots where the game will actually prevent you from getting certain um, slot combinations but uh, if you mash circle in the correct way to basically hit the slot as it's passing you'll trick the game into thinking that you got that slot combination. What is Jackbox? Jackbox is a game, uh, it's a bunch of games, it's a bunch of really fun games, and you get to play the games with me on your phones. So you get to actually jump into the game and we get to play together and it's a lot of fun. We did it a couple weeks ago and it was a blast and everyone wanted to do it again. So we'll be doing it this Friday. Okay, so basically, we need all the Kate Sith faces to get game over. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to use this trick to stop the slots, to slowly move the slots towards the Kate Sith face. And then once we are right in front of the Kate Sith face, we will hit circle. That's probably not it. That's better. Or not, okay. What the? F this game hates me. There we go. I think this one is after the crown. Yeah. Okay, so now, if we were to just hit circle when the Kate Sith face was up. The game is automatically programmed unless we're super, super, like 1 in 65,000 chance lucky. The game is programmed to get the Kate Sith face, but then move one slot further and not give us game over. But if you mash circle really fast as the Kate Sith face is passing, you'll trick the game into thinking that you got it. So basically, you have to set it up right before the Kate Sith face. Like this. And then... Do that. And you get game over. And you kill Ruby Weapon, because he's a jerk. He's a jerk anyways. So that's how you do it.